What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Kiss Capits podcast. I have a very special guest with me today. <laughs> Let her introduce herself. And then, you know, you know the drill. I'm going to take her through like my usual conversation. So tell the people your name and what you do for a living. Okay, my name is Sharon Nutu. Yeah. But casually, people call me Sherry. Sherry? Yeah. Okay. Sherry is derived from my Kikuyu name. Is that Meru? No, it's Njeri. Ah, <laughs> Gasheri. Yeah, Gasheri. No, oh. Sherry is derived from that. I got you, I got you, I got you. I see. I got a couple of those on my phone, phone book. Yeah, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the reason I wanted you to be on the podcast and I invited you like almost immediately, mm-hmm. maybe you didn't know, but you know, yeah. For those who don't know, what, have you said what you do? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, please, please. <laughs> oh, I'm a TV content producer. Yeah. Uh, I think this almost like this. In media, I've been in media for the past three years, but now doing it officially, it's yeah. like one and a half. Yeah. One and a half. Yeah. So she's a TV producer. And, you know, like now the climate, there's slight competition between like online content and... And TV. TV content, mm. and you know people are not yet sure. People are they people. There's people who are saying like, ah, TV is dead, but there are people who actually still watch TV. True. Uh, that's where advertisers are, and people are making a living through TV as well. True. So, the conversation will definitely be will evolve around content mm. creation, mm-hmm. and then the usual four pillars of life that are part of my podcast, which is health, wealth, love. Mm-hmm. And happiness. Oh, love is a pillar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It is one of the most important pillars, Konza. Because, you know, if you have issues and you're supposed to go and produce a TV show. Oh, yeah. You, you can't hack it. There you go. You'll so, channel that bad, bad energy, energy yeah. to people. And yeah. the whole production, it's like a circuit. You'll mess up the whole <laughs> so job. if one wire is not working, yes. everything else is shambled up. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, um, what basically just made you to be interested in getting in TV? Is it something that you aspired to be since you were young? Or is it just something, you know, with this Kenyan job market, you never know. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, that's, yeah. that's interesting because um, when I was in class 4, class 5, yeah. I used to say I want to be a pilot. Yeah. And then it, there's this plane from Cameroon that fell. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, no, change of... I don't think it's not uh, a good idea. Not a good uh-huh. idea. So then yeah. I said, uh, I don't know, see these air hostesses looking so nice. Yeah. Maybe I could hack being one. Yeah. And then my mom told me, you know you are short. <laughs> 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 then uh-huh. I started watching... Then I started concentrating on watching TV, and then I told my mom one day, randomly, like, one day I'll be on TV. I don't know how I'm going to be on TV, but yeah, I'll be on TV. But I'll definitely be on TV. Yeah. So uh-huh. in high school, yeah. as I was in Form 3, uh-huh. my English teacher suggested, um, why don't, when you go to campus, why don't you pursue this and this course? Uh-huh. And I was like, why? Uh, Which course was that? Theater, arts, and film technology. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. So I asked him why, and he's like, I feel like you're, you're autistic, and th- there's something creative in you. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that's a good one. So I went, I did research, and I mm. decided, let's do this. Yeah. So by the time I was finishing high school, I knew this is what I wanted to do. You have to be somewhere. Yeah. But now, yeah. I had not seen the film side, I had seen the theater side. Which is acting now. Yeah. Were you acting in school? Live alone school, even after high school. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> <I> okay. <laughs> so right after high school, like two mm. weeks into finishing high school, mm-hmm. I was already signed to a, a theater production company. Mm-hmm. So I acted. I acted for like two years. Yeah. Then, then in in that span, still now I joined campus. Yeah. And I'm doing theater arts and film technology. So whatever I'm studying is still what I'm practicing. Yeah. So as I went ahead, I, I was like, theater, uh, nah, hmm, nah, not uh-uh. feeling this vibe. Mm-mm, I don't feel like shouting anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In theater, you, know, you have to shout. Yeah, so I changed from being an, an actress to being on the production side. So I became a stage manager. Mm-hmm. Then after that now, I was like, I, 
still, I, I don't feel I that still Jesus. Don't feel like, like yeah, hey, there's something missing. There's something missing. So I jumped onto this other side. I majored in film now. Mm-hmm. That's camera work, production, yeah, editing, all that. Then I decided now it's time to look for internship. Mm-hmm. Now internship, you either choose two because of your final year project. You either mm-hmm. choose theater or film. Uh-huh. Let me tell you before I settled where I settled. Here Nairobi ni mezunguka. Yeah, and it's not easy. A lot of people think Let, it's not, especially yep. with in the media industry. It's not a walk in the park. Yeah. I remember I was with my friends, and we dedicated a whole day just to go and drop. And remember, this internship, this is not work. It's not work. So yeah. we st- we started we zunguk at all media stations, Zote, all dropping CVs, dropping CVs. Others will go and we're given attitude from here to I don't know where. It's all it starts from the no, it starts from security before you even get I, to reception. I know. Yes. yes. So they first look at you like, hmm? Mm-hmm. what do you want? Uh-huh. Uh, hi, I, I was asking. Internship. And they can read like you're not. Yeah, you and know. then they're like, there are no chances right <laughs> now. Or they just. You see those sticky notes? They write yeah. the email and then they find, they just push it like, email your CV is there. Yeah. So, luckily, I went to where I am now. Yeah. I started as an intern. Yeah. So, when I went there, mm-hmm. I remember I w- we were me and my friend. Mm-hmm. We were asked our age. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm 23. <laughs> okay. Which is like kudos. No, <laughs> people need to know these things so that, yeah. you know, at 23, she's already like a TV mm-hmm. producer and... You can hear the hard works, like she tarmacked and everything. So when we got there, yeah. the the boss then is someone known in the industry. So yeah. the first thing she asked us is, how old are you? Mm. I said my age. Then my friend is younger than me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, she's like, uh-huh. So she was told, uh, you wait outside there, let me talk to this one. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Let me talk to this one. Yeah. So, uh, she asked me, so why, why do you... Want, yeah. Why do you want to be part of us? And I said, I want to be in the production side and I want to be such a big producer that I would, I would only produce content in Kenya and East yeah. Africa. I want to produce something that can be consumed out, outside the country. Outside the country, but it's local. Yeah. She looked at me like, oh, mm-hmm. okay. Do you have a laptop? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I'm like, uh, I think, Madam, you have to be sure. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not functioning well. <laughs> but I do have but, one. But I do have one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just, just leave me your papers and go. Uh-huh. Now that's the last place. After that you actually at least got like a face to face with. It was so interesting because even when we got at the gate, mm-hmm. the gate person was so nice. Like, hi, I've had so many people like you. Let me do the nice thing and call the HR. So mm-hmm. when the HR came, uh, he was like, you know what? I, I feel like you should talk to the content manager. Like, oh, this is luck. Just like what? Things we have seen before yeah. we got here. Yeah. Hey, this is yeah. God. Uh-huh. <laughs> so after that, I, s- I stayed for like a week and then I was called for an interview. Uh-huh. I know, I, I was ready. I remember asking my guardians like, uh, so when someone is asked this, what do they How say? do I? How do I present myself? And yeah. I'm like, Chill, relax. Relax. It's <laughs> not that easy. serious. Yeah, yeah. So I got uh-huh. there. I am armed. Let me tell you, I went to Google. I googled the history of that company. <laughs> so if anything comes up, if even if they ask me who owns the company or how the you idea know. came of them investing in Kenya, who? You have the answers. So I get there, and then the first question I'm asking is, how many shows do you know from our TV? I'm like, hmm. Give me five. Way five. I know three. <laughs> three. After doing all that research, eh? imagine. Yeah. yeah. Every, yeah. Is or two? Like they, that's that's the one part that I jumped. Yeah. So I got there. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I like five. Okay. So I mentioned the first one, the second one, the third one. No, the fourth one. I don't yeah. remember the name. So I'm like, you see that You're show? Trying with the, to describe. Yeah, with the lady who looks like this, like <laughs> this, like I'm yeah, like, yes, yes, that one. Yeah. And then at uh, the fifth one, I'm like, mm. Mm. most TV stations have a sports show. So you can't miss. Yeah, so you can't miss. Yeah. You have one yourself, like, yeah. And the sports show. Mm-hmm. And then I used to know the guy. And you know the way you make me bust. You can like, drop the name at least so that they know. Uh, no, not. No, like, no, no, you dropped the name for the. 
content no. manager there. Oh, oh you didn't oh, remember the name? Oh, the name of the content manager? No, mm. the name of the sports person that you were telling. Did you draw? Did you tell them the name, Mama? No, you didn't know the name. I, didn't, I was just describing. <laughs> like, you see the Muslim guy, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, fine. Uh huh. So she looked at me and then told me, "It's okay. That's it." Like, what? That's it. That's, that's it. That's all I needed to. Excuse me. I I googled almost yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. So I went. The long story cut short. Mm. After three weeks of being called back and forth. They, told me come, come in for the internship so I do my internship yeah but unfortunately lecturers strike so I can't be assessed yeah so uh, my lecturer calls the content manager and tells her yeah. ah, you know I have my student in your place and yeah. I've not assessed her can you please extend yeah because we actually know yeah because we need to assess her because yeah. of her final exam yeah I'm like yeah no problem mm-hmm. that's how I'm here See? After the extension, they're like, uh, we feel like it's right if we absorbed you. But that's interesting because you see, like, such stories show that you can actually, as long as you're just pursuing whatever you're trying to, to get to, or those, because t- on the media, people just know, like, media, you can't get a job. Yeah, connection. Yeah, people, yeah if, if you don't know anyone, like, mm-hmm. there's nobody giving you a job, especially True. in Kenya. It's very, very tricky. So now, since we're already now to the part where you're doing the content and everything, and at 23, how do you see like just the climate between online content and TV content? Because like I said, a lot of people have that kind of debate where like, ah, TV is dead, or oh, people on social media now, and such stuff, in mm. comparison. And Okonza, in fact, if one, before you answer that, I have a very good question for you. Uh, you want to hear this question? <laughs> Am I ready? Are you ready for this question? Oh no, I'm not. Okay, ah. drop it. Do you watch TV? Who do I watch? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Ah, that's, a, that's a safe answer. I mean, even if somebody else is supposed to hire you, and <laughs> they watch this video no, no, no. and you're like, I Let don't even. Let me tell you something. Yeah. If you're doing something, then you need to watch other people to know. To if understand if how. Exactly. Okay. So, okay, I miraculously. Yeah. I've, I've been placed on entertainment, the part of entertainment mm. and lifestyle. Yeah. So if I don't watch what other people are doing, mm-hmm. I can't know if I'm growing as a person, if my show is growing, yeah. or if you're backtracking. So I need you that have little to keep time up to I date have with everything. That's yeah, the little time I have, I have to squeeze it and watch what others are doing. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So, so that's fair enough. <laughs> but if you compare it now to like content creators who are online. Mm-hmm creating their stuff independently mm-hmm. how is it compared to tv or do you do you pay attention to what's going on online of course i do you have uh-huh. to because yeah this so, is where we yeah. fish these personalities that exactly we see exactly and my next oh, don't <laughs> worry we're going there with my next question uh-huh. so, so just be, between comparing the two online there is that freedom you will do anything you want yeah you have that freedom. You but can TV. cast, you can do whatever. Oh, well. <laughs> no, online. I'm saying online, not on yeah, TV. Yeah, yes, online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. have that freedom. But when it comes to TV, you're a bit constrained to what... Yeah, brand guides. Yeah. Yeah. And also, you know, it's a twice on our neck. You yeah. Can't yeah, yeah, yeah. that TV, I mean, yeah. it's... Yeah. You can't keep up with YouTubers and mm-hmm. there are just way too many yeah. going out of control. But for us, he's there watching what you're doing. So, I feel yeah. like... Online has more freedom, yeah. and TV is more constrained, kidogo. Yeah. But still, both have a role in the society. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you can't start saying that. So what would you tell those people who keep saying that? You know, Maze TV is dead, but nobody watches TV. Uh, TV is not dead. Yeah. T- TV is still there. Yeah. And I'll just give you a simple example. Give me. Um, you have your show show mm-hmm. in the village. Mm-hmm. As much as they have now, they the new gadgets. My show show is on Netflix. So really? let's, let's use another example. We are in ah, my friend. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm lying. Of course I'm lying. In, <laughs> in those remote areas, they yeah. still rely on TV. True. Even in the urban areas, there is content you can't find online. It's only True. on TV. As much as True. everyone is doing different things, there is something that TV offers that you really get it you online. Can, yeah, yeah. Not true. So, that's yeah. very true. Then, um, just depending on the shows that maybe 
like you said, you have to watch other shows yeah. and everything. So now I think the shows that get like probably like the most viewership and stuff are the ones that have a little pinch of drama, nini, and those kind of things. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> just hold on before you answer my question. Eh? Uh, do you think just like being on TV, you have to take that route where we do? Okay, of course I have to name drop something like Nairobi Diaries. The more drama you have and everything, the more likely you are uh, potentially going to draw like a lot of people. Well, it depends on what you're producing. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, uh, if need be, for uh, no, how, how do I put this? Okay, target audience is very important. Yeah. When you're thinking of how to produce your content, yeah. if it's the youngsters, they yeah. they don't want to consume something that is just plain. Yeah. They yeah. want something to spice it up. Yeah. And if drama is going to give you what you're looking for, then. <laughs> Have you ever been in a situation where you had to add a little bit of salt? Ama, you told maybe like one of your guests who's coming in, hey, if you go there, we we'll just stir something up, kiddo. It will be extra dramatic. Put some salt <laughs> in it so that well, so I that you can attract. I mean, you I've know. I've never told my guest, yeah. but I have advised my host uh-huh. to do something uh-huh. that will trigger. Yeah, yeah, the, the reaction of somebody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, for example, the pranks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. those things can actually... Yeah, you, you want to see how someone... Is. I remember... Uh, Who's prank was them, Nini? Oh, because you've done this show for how long? Uh, one, one and a half. One and a half yeah. years. So I know you... Yeah, so... But you haven't done pranks lately. But no, I remember in the past, you've done like quite a few that were we really did, nice. We did one last year, but it wasn't... Didn't work Which out one was so memorable? Well. The Huda one. Ah, <laughs> Huda, yeah, yeah. I was like, let me make a call. Eh? Let yeah, me let make. me let me call. Let me call my people. Yeah, and, and if she does <laughs> make that call, some somebody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's and it's the gonna. Enrico Mundi one. I didn't see that one. Which uh, one was that? No, that one. Yeah. The the, the previous cast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, acted as if they are they are like cat fighting. Ah, uh, oh no! I think I saw that as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I saw like on his face, he was just like, confused. Like, he was like, oh my oh, God. what? <laughs> on TV. <laughs> on TV. <laughs> But yeah, that's interesting, very interesting. But I see where you, 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 what you're talking about. And that's also like a very unique angle that you've taken with something that I think stood out from other shows. I don't think there's anybody else who's like pranking their guests. And you see most of these people, you can tell very clearly like they never, they're too busy to ever watch some shows. Yeah. So even when they're coming there, they, 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 they don't they... know. Elements. Even though you've done it like last weekend, mm-hmm. these guys, the person who's coming, they're not they're even still aware. They'll do it and they'll be like, oh my god. <laughs> and I was looking at Huda's face, I was like, you didn't know like these people are actually pranking you. I know, you. the funny thing is, yeah. the guys who tried pranking, he just, she just passed them <laughs> when she was coming in studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. But that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it, stand, it makes you stand out and stuff. But also, do you ever feel like maybe pressure from other stations like, hey, me, I think these guys, because as much as people are still watching a show that you're producing, do you ever feel the pressure of like, I still need to make this show better than it is? Up to date, I still have pressure. Yeah. Reason is, yeah. if you watch the shows I produced, yeah. there was a previous cast, they were big there are big names in the industry. Yeah, and I'm going to come back to that question <laughs> as well. I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask and some questions. When I was when I was uh, absorbed to that show, yeah. There was someone else who was doing it. So I was working as the junior. Yeah. Yeah. So when we transitioned to now this new cast, yeah. Like 60% I'm the one who is handling them. Yeah. And then now the person who was working under decided to to move yeah to move yeah so now it was automatic like you're the one going to run this yeah it's up to you so everything is on you everything is on you yeah and you have to bring this show to where it was <sighs> with a different lot these yes. are people who are these are new faces fresh faces because i remember yeah. We did an audition, like an open audition. We called mm. people, and they came. These are new people. These are not new. Yeah. They don't have numbers like. The They're crew. all new, like because I've never seen them on TV. I know them personally, mm. but I've never seen them on okay, TV. Okay, one it. was previously on another TV station. 
Oh, as a, ca- a presenter as well? No, or? no, no, as a cast. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So these were new people. Yeah. They've never, maybe ads here and there, yeah. shoots. Now they are on a TV show that had big names in the yeah. industry. Yeah. And they, the shoes that they're supposed to fit in are so, so huge. So huge, so huge. Same to the producer. Yeah. <laughs> the shoes that I'm supposed to fit in were so huge. Because here's everyone and they're not sure what they're supposed to do to elevate the show. Exactly. But you have to because you don't have, have a choice. To. And the person who's, who's handling them yeah. is just, let me call it, fresh from school. Yeah. So all of us, we're just like... It's not even at the fresh from school. You're actually fresh, fresh from school. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if we fail, we, we are going to fail all of us. Yeah. Producer and host. Yeah. If we shine, we shine all of us. But yeah. it's, it's a working process because we've come from far. Yeah. We've, for the one... You've really changed a lot of hosts on your show, first of all. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen. Like, I think you've set a world record for having the most <laughs> now, hosts for your show. Let me tell you. But I can tell you are at a comfortable spot right yeah, now. Yeah, right now, we could say that. Let yeah. me tell you, even when I was walking to this place, yeah. I, I've met with a lady who we are supposed to have on the table as the fourth person. Yeah. And she's like, you've not given me feedback. <laughs> I was like, you know what? You see the, you see how uneasy you are. That's yeah, yeah. the way I am because yeah, I'm also I, waiting for those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to come from above. Yeah, yeah. from the above authorities, and yeah. if they've not told me to give your call and invite you, you now officially. Yeah. to be part of the cast, then it's so um, the way you are at a pending position, that's the same case with me. Yeah, but yeah, before we got to where we are right now, mm-hmm. whew, we we have journey. <laughs> Let me call it a journey. <laughs> we have journey. We've mm-hmm. had someone who came on the table and stayed for two months and then vanished. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> We've all seen it. Yeah. Because <laughs> even me at times, I was like, hey, wait, what's happening? <laughs> but at least now, it's like, at least for the people that I know, I can actually call them and ask, them, hey, wait, see, I thought the show is going well. What's yeah. going on? But I know, like, you know, everywhere you go, there's always going to be, like, you know, formalities in the station, like, office politics that you also have to deal with and stuff yeah, true. that some are not even in your control because as a producer I mean if somebody decides like hey, next week um, and now yeah there's a reason why we decided to settle with fresh faces in the industry these people who have made it yes yeah they'll be like fine let's they do will, this they so will you do gi- it they will be threatening you guys all the time no. Ama let's do this they're like cool so you do month one month two and then they tell you ah you know i'm traveling uh, ah yeah yeah, yeah 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 and they actually always travel this is a live show entertainment stroke lifestyle you have to keep up with things that are happening you can't pre-record for a whole month or no you two. can't you can't it's maybe tricky. two days okay but you can't do a like, month yeah. no we'll be behind people are talking about i don't know what you're still yeah yeah, yeah yeah you can't do that so and then you have someone, they come, they sit, and then they start feeling, you know, I've made it, I'm bigger than the rest. But yeah, yeah I so mean, uh, yeah. I'm requesting if you can give me, yeah. like, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, like half an M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, <coughs> thank you for the prayers, but uh, we also wish. <laughs> but you know, it's kind of tricky, and I also understand for like a lot of t- TV people how they have to deal with that, which also brings me to my next question yeah. is. Because currently, I think even from what you're trying to describe is a lot of online influencers, celebrities, musicians and all those people, they can bring in more numbers, Correct. more viewership and stuff because people are already like attracted to yeah, like what yeah, they yeah. have going on. Person, so yeah, I'll, yeah. Watch it I'll definitely watch it. That's guarantee. But now you see the other risk is that if they decide to walk out at any time, or if they have that international show or nini. And they, they won't drop it. Yeah. They won't. They'll be like, hey, wait. Do you see this check? Will you compensate for this check that I'm going to get there? It's tricky. But how... Uh, there's just also this debate where a lot of guys are complaining that, you know, it's only the celebrities who are getting jobs. It's only uh, famous people, influencers, both on radio and TV that are being given jobs. Apart from the people who are graduating Daystar, USIU, Multimedia. I mean, they're not getting jobs that easily. Easy, yeah. That easily. As opposed to influencers and any. 
now uh, there is a time we were having this discussion and yeah. we are talking about something and then they are like if you want to push a product now basically when I say product I mean like content yeah. if you want to push content mm. look for someone who you know has a following mm. and we tried it we there's a show was doing and we brought this lady yeah. she has huge <laughs> let me call it massive following yeah. on Instagram we were like she's a squad she's good looking yeah. she has the following what else are we looking for yeah but let me tell you, there's, there's something you can do on come, the... Come close to the <laughs> mic. Oh. This we have to hear well, very well. This, we need this info. Mm-hmm. There's, there's something you'll do online that you can do on TV. TV, TV is an art. Yes. Apart from the looks and the following, TV is an art. Yeah. I might look good on Instagram, you might, you might go through and you're like, yeah. hey, oh. hey. And you know some of them don't even talk on Instagram. Exactly, they're like... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we brought her on board, my God. We regretted within the first week. First week? Yes. She doesn't have the spot for TV. She doesn't. Ah. She has the numbers, she has the looks, but no. Oh. It was so unfortunate. So yeah. we were like, no, she'll, you know, I'm always, I'm always that person who's like, yeah. this person can grow. Yeah, yeah. It's always a learning. Let's give them time. Let's yeah, give them time. Yeah, it's a learning process. But two weeks, you're like, mm. So we decide two weeks. Yeah. One month, hey. We are struggling. Yeah. Two months, no, we can't do this. Just decided, yeah, this no, is let's, not working let's, out. Let's just release her. Mm, mm. Let's, let's just let her go. Yeah, and even in advertising, a lot of people have faced that. Like, company, big companies have huge numbers and everything. And they pick certain people because of numbers that they have on Instagram. Yeah. And, and then they run a whole campaign. Impact. None. Zero. None. Zero. None. Zero. Zero. And you see, it's not. It's so different. It's completely different. So it's not just about numbers. You, this person has to have that ca- it factor. Yes, as well. there's that it factor. And yeah. as I always say, being yeah. on radio and TV, it's an art. Yeah. It's an art because yeah. imagine most of my shows are live shows. Live is tricky. Though. Live is tricky. Yeah. If my script fails you, you need yeah. to have that chap chap mind to figure out something that yeah. you're going to say. Yeah, we can't be looking like at produ- producer. A producer. No, cook uh, something w- up. Go on, go on. And I've I've learned this over the times. Yeah, yeah. This this time I was fresh. This show is fresh. My people are fresh. <laughs> so we call this big wig in the industry. Yo, mm-hmm. are you gonna grace our set? Yeah, I'll come through. Yeah. Hey, we're excited. We've yeah. pushed the posters online. Hey. So and so is coming. Hey. Hey. People cancel. People cancel. Do they cancel? At six. Yo. I'm sorry, I can't What up? It. Where are you? Ah, I'm around the corner. Huh? <laughs> I'm like, ah, cool. Oh, yeah. And it's actually <laughs> supposed to. Yeah, so in I'm, a few I'm, minutes at I'm, least. I'm relaxed. An allowance. Yeah, yeah. I'm relaxed. If it's around the corner, I yeah. will be here. Yeah. My G. It's yeah. six. Almost it's 30. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> phone is not being picked up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just rings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rings. We go in commercial. So I tell my people. Yeah. We have been ditched. Bamboozled. <laughs> Bamboozled. <laughs> We've been ditched. <laughs> what do we do? Yep. Yep. It's for us to think within our commercial mostly is two to three minutes. Jeez. You have to, yeah. You have to come up with something that people will consume and not get bored and flip to yeah, another TV station. Yeah, because like, hey, you guys, you told us you're having nani and funny what's happened. They're yes. not there. And then now another thing, you need to tell your viewers where is this person. <sighs> yeah. In a polite way, without throwing shade, because they've decided they're not going to show up and they're going to be a professional. Yeah. So yeah. Can you imagine if mm-hmm. you're having someone who's who just looks good yeah. and is it chap chap. You're going it's it's not gonna help you in any way. No, you're going to stare at each other there. Yeah. You get back on commercial. <laughs> you just look at each other. The bumper plays for like the seventh time. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Aki, me, I'm tensed. So you have to think. Chapter. I mean, and that's why I have to commend somebody like you, because like for me, I can say like honestly, even if you see like my setup, I do produce everything just alone. But now, like even the task to invite guests, call, follow up. What do you need? This food. Hey, if you have allergic reactions, oh. let me know in advance because we're yeah. going to serve you food. But all those two little things. So I know, I can only imagine the magnitude for TV and it being live. At least me, I can go back and, and like, ah. if you cancel on me, me, I'm eating and then I bounce home. 
I'll get another, I'll get another. But for you, there's so much online people are ranting where you told us Nani. Where is Nani? Yes. Where is and they're on the hashtag like, yo, we are waiting, we're yes. waiting, we're waiting, mm-hmm. we're waiting, we're waiting. Mm-hmm. Hey, you sweat. I you stop yeah. sweating and then you're like, let's do this, let's I, do this. I never so, cry if anybody cancels on me. Me, I'm always like, it's easy. Like, you know, you tell me when you're ready. If you want to come back, it's all good. We can work it out. There's something that annoys me with Kenyan personalities. Yeah. When you invite them, yeah. they, they like shrug you. But when they have something they're pushing, Listen. they look for you. Listen. My God. I've been telling people the only problem with... The, the only reason that Kenyan celebrities don't grow as big as they're supposed to, it's because... They just act way too bougie before they are actually bougie. Yeah. So you kind of like block so many doors and opportunities that are supposed to come your way just because now you have a reputation of having a bad attitude, uh, you are a snob, unprofessionalism, you feel extra nini. Yeah. Because even for me, at times, to bring people on the podcast, some people always like, hey, what's this you bring nani to your podcast? I'm like, hey. <laughs> Bruh. Do you know? <laughs> Do you know how many people have told me, like, talk to my assistant, she's going to talk to me and plan any. And then Paka, I'm like, what? I mean, we're here already. Yeah. And I know you're not as big as you claim to be. But you want to feel yeah. like... No, you want to make me feel like I'm not important. Or like, I, or like you, it's we, like I need them. You get, yeah, 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 you know, exactly. But now somebody has like a new song, a, pl- a brand, a service they're trying to actually do hey, independently. They'll call guys, even please, in the can we? Night. Like that time, even the tone changes. <sighs> My God, you'll think the angels yeah. like, ah, hi, yeah. I was asking if you could slot. <laughs> Let me tell you. But if people, people take it there instead of start making relationships. I have met very. I've met a lot, let me say a lot for the short span I've been in the industry. Yeah. I've met, I've brushed shoulders with so many. Yeah. And the ones I can say are humble, yeah. I can pinpoint. Yeah, yeah. Like one, two. Very few. The rest. Mm. And they've done that, they've even made it be borrowed by the acts that come from outside. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry to say Nigerians, gosh. Yeah. Nigerians. <laughs> yeah. Nigerians frustrate me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, here's the thing. People don't realize, like, if you're producing, like, you just, you, all you're trying to do is communicate yeah. with all this. Because you imagine, like, even your hosts don't understand what's going on behind the scenes. I mean, okay, first of all, I have to ask, when you invited me to your show, how did I behave? <laughs> Schedule-wise, uh, calling me, planning, and how was the show? So, let me tell you. I, hand, I, hand, I want a hundred percent feedback of just feedback. being honesty okay, so from a producer so I, g- I got your contacts from Lydia yeah right? yeah so Lydia told me, ah, I, I had seen your podcast before yeah but I was like so I don't know if this guy will, will want to come to our show if I will want mm, yeah. what you didn't think I would want to <laughs> I, I mean Shit. Let me, uh, do I look like those people here anyway Watch her. It's Kenyan streets. <laughs> no, I know. But even me at times, I'm always scared of like asking so, other people. Eh? I just, I first scrolled through your Instagram and I saw all those people you posted on your podcast. I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, should we try? Or should we just should give we up? Attempt, should we attempt? <laughs> and so down with life. So, and then I remembered, oh, you, you had Lydia here. So yeah. we talked to Lydia. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, he's super chill. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh, you're sure. What you actually thought that I might? <laughs> so it tells me no. It's a, yeah. Give him a call. Yeah. So I call him. They're like, yeah, we already talked with Lydia. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Now another thing, mm-hmm. time. Yeah. People who keep time. Yeah. There's just something. In t- they just project good vibes. Mm-hmm. So that I must commend you. Hey, you are on time. Way. <laughs> you are. We know it's time. live. We know it's live. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Even for me, I wouldn't come, want to come there sweating at the end. Now I'm yeah. rushing on set. Mm-mm. That one, yeah. keep up. Okay, what about the show? Hey, the show. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. The show. Mm. The show was great. Yeah. At some moment, it was awkward. Yeah. When you started saying about the kisses, I was like, why, why is it like kill me? No, 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 I know, I know, I know. It's 6 p.m. <laughs> You know what? I have Mister here who's just saying <laughs> how much, and I have made out with your host. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. We, I'm like, Whoa. but you know why? 
Because you remember I asked you guys, is there something you don't want me to say on the show? What did you guys tell me? We were like, don't mention brands. Don't yeah. mention brands. And then you said, have as much fun as you. Uh, I, was well, like, yeah. I was like, okay, have fun. That's, okay. That is fun to you. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Because me, I was like, ah, let me play around with them, Kidogo, because I'm sure. And plus, uh, you know, like I do this every other day. So yeah. I was just like comfortable because plus I at least know two in person that I've also had on the show. Ah. So yeah, it was much, much easier. But I was just even thinking at the back of my head, what if I, s- there's some things I wanted to say, but I was like, uh-uh, let me, let me not get banned. <laughs> not even just by, by the <laughs> station, <laughs> by other <laughs> people yeah. from coming to the Anini. No, so I was like, I have to remember it's TV. So that, just that keep was it a friendly. Good one. Mm. When you get someone who gels so well with your host, yeah, yeah. the show is amazing. Even if you, you don't need to be worried. Yeah, and yeah. even if you won't talk about anything serious, just yeah. flowing, relax, relax. Yeah. bounce energy back yeah. and forth between each other. Hey, you get people who just sit back, <laughs> relax, and listen, and yeah. then they'll be answering like, ah, "So, what's your name, mm. Sharon?" Yeah. What oh yes. You, what do you do? Uh, I produce. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know. So how long have you been in this industry? Listen, you know, on oh. my on my podcast, <laughs> I've had one person who walked out from the podcast. Oh no! Yeah, Why? they were like, "Where is this going? Are you trying to say that I'm?" Uh, and then they just packed their stuff and went. So oh, oh god! So the, the waiters <laughs> are looking at me, like, oh, yeah. and me, I'm like, <laughs> "What did I say?" <laughs> But it was only one person. But even I was just trying to think. Imagine if it's something that's live. Or, but it's those people who just have like a problem with attitude mm. and stuff. And I was just like, I'm really trying to have a conversation. But you're only just giving me yes or no answers. And I'm not even sure if I should keep on asking you questions. That's so irritating. Because, yeah. I mean, you can't ask me like, so, so, uh, Sharon, how did you get here? Yeah. Uh, I came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, I'm a, I'm a, see, I'm here. You know, even like the host Kwanzaa is like confused because like, they're like, okay. No, so, um, uh, what, what am I supposed to say? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've had several people mm. who've done, not even one, several. But it's it's crazy. You imagine these yeah. are three people. Yeah. Who are trying to ask you questions in your life. Mm. Kwanzaa, they sit like this. See, so you know how our hey, chairs yeah, are. Yeah, I know. So they're just swinging like. I know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Uh, and then they, and I know, like even the way your camera guys are always like try and maintain a certain yeah. image. So they, I'm like, I don't care. You know, and then they they, they hold the the yeah. coffee mug like, <laughs> yeah, mm. <laughs> hey, yes, yeah. Uh-huh. Even you when you're from the control room behind there, you're struggling. Yeah, because like now you're like, what is going on? You have to feed these people with more questions than. Yeah, try ask this. Yeah. Try ask this. Ask this, see if they'll create a conversation from it. Yeah. Take it this direction. See if yeah. they'll be at least interested. Yeah. And I'm like, why did you if you were not if you're not interested in coming, then Should why I did you agree? Yeah, you have just said I, I don't feel the vibe, I don't feel like I want to do this. Yeah. Then we call it quit. And even for me I'm always saying for me to bring somebody to the podcast. I only wanna talk to people who want to talk to me. I don't want to talk to anyone who doesn't want to talk to me. And I'm like, what's the point? What's this, the point? This attitude. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, no, but you see, that's why we're saying like other countries have started like there's a time and place. I think there's a time. I think the Kenyan industry was way ahead of so many other countries. Mm. Just you think about of, it. You were ahead of Nigeria, Nigeria at one point. Of course. TZ. Right. TZ. You are way ahead. I'm, anytime I think of TZ first, I'm frustrated. Yeah. Like these guys are yeah. big now. Super huge. You remember how we, they used to want to just come and associate themselves with Kenyans. Let me. T- Akina, who was Mr. Yeah. Nice? Mr. Yep. Nice used to produce his songs in Kenya, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Rose Mohando used to come and produce his songs yes. in Kenya. Chameleon. Cam- Look at us. Look at us. Look at those people now. Tanzania. And am I allowed to say Wasafi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You can say. You can oh. say. Yeah. Right now, Wasafi is big. Aye. And because of Wasafi, first of all, yeah, just finish before I finish <laughs> my chain of thought. One thing I appreciate Tanzanians for is they have unity. Yep. They have like, unity and they support one another yeah. a lot. Yeah. Now it's when we are trying, not even doing it, we are trying to see if we can support each other, whether it's in terms of movies, music, uh, 
podcasts like this, yes. vlogs, yeah. vlogs. It's yeah. when you see like if your friend has a podcast, yeah. you try Can to... Can I come and see yeah, me? Ego. Yeah, I welcome you to mind. Kitambo, you wouldn't say that. Yeah. You would, even on TV. I have a show. You have a show, but I can't invite you. It's so but crazy. But when you watch Akina Ellen, yes. Trevor Noah, they invite they really each other, they talk. And Jimmy, what's you put Jimmy? your differences aside. Yeah. Elevate the brands and nini platforms. The, uh, recently, Trevor Tre- Trevor did this the book. Yeah, his book, mm-hmm. and he toured to all, all. Yeah, all the shows. Na Jimmy Fallon, all of them. Jimmy yeah. Fallon. Uh, there's this guy who does couple karaoke. What's his name? Mm. Um, James Harden. No, no, it's not. It's James Cordon. Cordon. Ah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, did yeah. James Cordon. He yeah. went to the real. He was at Ellen. Let me tell you, yeah. Yeah, me, I have a yeah. TV show. <laughs> you have a TV show. I release a book. Eh, I call you. Eh, eh, Niaje, eh, neza come through. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, uh, you know, you don't know. Uh, let me do this. Let me, let it's, me give it's, you. It's, let me give my so assistant crazy. your number. Then yeah. contact you. And that's you. That's the craziest part. Like you can't. We can't be doing that. Like as Kenyans, you know the what the the thing. I even if you want to introduce assistant, tell me. You know what? I actually like it. We'll do it. Let me make sure my assistant gets all the details, so that they can remind me in case I'm busy. But I talk to my assistant. Like they don't even want to have that conversation yeah. with you. Like just talk to my assistant. She let you know if. My and that <laughs> is what <laughs> is dragging Kenyan acts down. Yes. And when I say yes. acts, I mean yeah. all of them. Everyone I, from online platform models, <laughs> artists, musicians, all those Arti- people. Hi. Uh, my name is so and so. I wanted to. Uh, what? Uh, that? Okay. Uh, talk to my sister. Kanza, you know what? Kanza, for you, I pity you because you have to make those phone calls. A thousand in one time. <laughs> for me, me, I'm always like, at least you try. I'm like, yo, listen, I don't need to talk to that person because I already know like the, the energy that they come with. And, uh, and honestly, my podcast has grown the way it's grown because. The people who come here, like, they really do want to be here. Yeah, you see, we're having a conversation, we're talking, and you won't even notice, like, the time. But time is running, and we're talking about so many constructive things. I, uh, I've <laughs> been there. You call people, you're like, hi. And then you have, you have to be so meek. You yeah. also don't want to ruin your reputation. You have to kiss ass, Kwanza. Uh, Baka, you're like, What's the, why are I we never doing used this to, again? I never used to do that. Even, yeah. even my friends know, but let me tell you, I yeah. have been humbled. Yeah. My work has humbled me. Because at the end of the day, don't you have to get people to I the show to, and be... I can't have a whole month without... Some and that's guests why you do have bring to, a certain vibe yeah, yeah, to yeah, your show. So yeah. imagine having... Like it's like you're having this podcast yeah. on your own like, <laughs> for a whole two months. You can't. People get tired of seeing your face. Why? And why? It, yeah. So, See, I've heard what he says. It won't, it won't even bring, like, just, and I know, like, even for you, that's why, as the responsibility of bringing a different person to your show, yeah, every than you need. And also, you always, a, mm-hmm. another thing. Yeah. We have a tendency, and I'll say we, because yeah. <laughs> I'm also part of it. We yeah. have a tendency of bringing musicians all along. Um, all along. It's, it's, yeah. And you know, all of them kind of have the same. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I started, I struggled, studios didn't want me, then they signed me, now I'm a big <laughs> gut, blah, 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 100, well, a million views on YouTube, yeah, follow me, me go like, subs- yeah. all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One thing, we sat down with my people mm-hmm. from all the shows I do, and we decided we're going to look for something, somebody who has something different, mm. and especially for the talk show. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see... Monday so and so, Tuesday so and so, Wednesday yeah, so and so, yeah. and all of them, it's yeah. just music. It's the same thing. To, the today same I thing. want to have you as a podcaster. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow I want to have a martial art, artist. Bring somebody different, yeah. The other day I want to have this young, chilled lady who just sits down in Shona's sweaters. Mm. But you see, that's something different. And before people, it's hard for people to accept that because we've channeled mm-hmm. our audience to musicians and uh, actresses but, alone but is, but is it you see the our industry is not that big in acting and music anyway now we do what you call recycling <sighs> yeah because it's gonna be the hope, same step and jump yeah hope you're here in this station tomorrow you're here you're here uh, that way 
the whole year round and now even same, same people you don't want your audience to start feeling like see we so nani talking about this on eh, the other station the, eh, now she's so here this, or he's here uh, still talking about the same thing so we i try as much as possible to get keep it fresh keep it fresh and do something different from mm. what others are doing yeah um, dealing with <laughs> kenyan celebrities kenyan celebrities it, hey. it's it's tricky but we shouldn't like just um the best thing about having like maybe independent online platforms it's just painting a different narrative that's why i'm shocked to hear you say that me thought yeah if somebody just asked me konza like lydia even when she sent me a message i think i didn't respond for like two days but it scores i kept on saying that i'd want to and then i think i've responded to the message oh, it's, it's, in, it's in my head oh, yeah. so i check my message i'm like oh shit i haven't even responded so i'm like okay so i'll make it but i'm just shocked that somebody would get that vibe a bit uh sometimes you have to be psychologically prepared because this is a person Sur- who, i know surprises yeah you this is a person you've not interacted with but mm. even if you see my videos do i come off like a bit you uh, wouldn't tell wait stop putting me on the line <laughs> no i'm just asking like you wouldn't tell someone's personality there's somebody you can just see them in and just you know hey this is an asshole by the way Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, you can just We are allowed to say that. Yeah, you can cast on this po- it's a me, podcast. It's me, not me. I'm so reserved. Okay, sour. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> it's not TV. We're not doing live TV. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Don't show me as. <laughs> Past 10 we can say all that you say. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, you can just express yourself to you. But it's tricky. But that's what has made other countries just progress. Ugandans with Ugandan music wasn't that big, but now if you go to their mainstream Uganda just even entertainment even their own movies as much as people are laughing at their movies those guys go and watch those movies yeah what ails us most is yeah. we don't ons- consume our own content yeah we don't we love everything foreign foreign everything foreign i mean yeah. i might have my my let's talk show yeah but someone is like i why would i watch this <laughs> say just go to the real <laughs> Yeah. the original yeah, yeah. well it's yeah. good but now we are trying to bring it closer home yeah. and see if yeah. that can mm-hmm. be accommodated here but you still want to support this and you're you saying you're saying that and all your hosts for your show they just have american accents hmm? now mm. let me tell you mm. there yeah. we yeah. have a problem because <laughs> <laughs> now but i do love them the thing is like i know how kenyans can be Yeah. especially that did they did you ever get a backlash when you're starting off with these f- fresh faces of and course. they all have like foreign an- accents no, even though they're Kenyan previously previously we only had like Lydia and Dana yeah and then we had the two from the previous cast but at yeah. the time now they also left and we had a now Naomi yeah for Lydia Lydia has stayed in the country quite long so yeah, yeah. at least she knows Swahili yeah. although Swahili we always laugh at her when she talks Swahili <laughs> she's funny she sounds funny when she talks in Swahili yeah. first of all si nilikuwa ninakwambia now my dear Naomi <laughs> Naomi doesn't know Swahili yeah at yeah. all and people don't understand that people yeah. think that they are faking it it's not pretending it's not like people actually do go and study overseas and just come and visit the Naomi, country times so. all her life she's lived in the US yeah she came back yeah. i think an year now yeah there's a person who her background she never got to learn any swahili yeah. so it's when she's learning like i'll say what it will be like sharon what's that word <laughs> Uh, Sharon, what does that mean? I'm she like, even sounds a, like a tourist when she's asking I, that, I'm sure. I, I know. <laughs> At first I also used to find it funny like how comes like yeah. come on how do you even yeah. interact with people mm-hmm. but with time you get to understand them. But our yeah. viewers not all they of don't, them they don't have understand. A so yeah. they'll be like oh this lady who's faking her british accent. No, they're not oh, pretending. This lady who's uh who talks like Cardi B <laughs> <laughs> Naomi yeah and then they're like and then people assume that yeah. Dana is Asian which is not she's not yeah. she's not Asian yeah she's she's Jewish mm. so yeah. they they'll refer to her with the Indian girl with tattoos <laughs> they even they they don't, I don't even want to take time to to use her name <laughs> no one uses the names they'll be like the lady who fakes the british accent the yeah. lady who fakes the american accent yeah. cardi b and then they put cardi b in quotes and then Jeez. there's the indian girl with the tattoos so yeah. but i always tell them yeah 
have that urge to learn. Yeah. Have that urge to learn. Yeah. You might not be perfect right now. Yeah. But if I see interest, if you're interested to know what is happening, what I'm saying, yeah. Sheng, mm-hmm. there's growth with yeah. that because yeah. when we started, Lydia didn't know Swahili. Yeah. Lydia only knew English and Kikuyu. But now I'm sure, like, just with audience and guests, different guests coming. And they get so excited when they yes. know Kiswahili and yeah. Sheng. Yeah. So they'll come and tell me, oh, Sharon, today I've known <laughs> what Riang means. I'm yeah. like, huh. <laughs> Yeah. And it's funny they uh-huh. approach me as if I'm their mom, sort of. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the weird thing is, I'm the youngest in all that school. I know you have a big responsibility <laughs> in your hands, so they all look at you as. All my hosts are yeah. way older than me. Yeah. Older. But yeah. when it comes to them, like, Sharon, I've yeah. learned this today, I'm like, yeah, we're going. Yeah, we keep learning something. We keep learning. New. Yeah. But Dana knows how to read Swahili. She actually oh, reads it so well. Yeah, but I'm guessing pronouncing won't be the same. No, she stayed here longer than the two. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Makes sense. So, so um, since we've talked a lot about the show and everything, yeah. content creation and stuff, but even Pierre, you have to give uh, somebody like Diamond props for the hard work he's done. Yeah. He's united like so many artists. And the best thing about Diamond, I can say, he's gotten like at least the whole of East Africa pregnant. So that Zari Uganda, so, <laughs> TZ, uh, Hamisa, said, and Kenya. Someone <laughs> said. Tanasha. So, hey, yeah, they have got, to say. Big up. Yeah, big ups. It hasn't been done before. <laughs> and he's actually united the three countries in a very Someone different. Said that Diamond's yeah. living room is about to look like the East African community. Yes. <laughs> yes. But who the. Yeah, I mean, that? I mean, no, but we have to give him props. Yeah, he does like a lot of just collabs. If you know sports talent, everywhere, 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 everywhere. and it's not even just East Globally. Africa, global, worldwide. Yeah, you know, recross and stuff. So I Kenyans just learn something from from what those guys are doing. Because I mean, it's those guys work. They yeah, do. Let's just. And now that. we have. Even the way you've talked about, like, we don't like consuming our own stuff, you'd notice a lot of our artists have started singing, like, either Tanzanians or Nigerians, or there's a time we had a South African wave. Kwanza, the Nigerian one. Hey, that yeah. one hit us strong. Even, even talking. Some talk like Nigerians. Some people are like, eh? Eh? You are Kenyan? Yeah. How? But, <laughs> but it's so interesting. Okay, so now, just content-wise, uh, people who are, let's say, online or they're shooting their own personal stuff, would you advise them to try and license their content to TV or just keep following their lane on online platforms? My advice, I'd like to know. Yeah. My advice would be, I'll feel they just remain where they are. Uh-huh. Because, first of all, transitioning from YouTube, Yeah to TV, people yeah. think it's a walk in the park but it's, it's the hardest thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've seen people people who are spotted on YouTube and they're like, hey, these people are nice, uh, we could have them. When they come on TV, they don't perform. <laughs> they don't. You are shocked, you're like, hey, what's I'm going like, on? Th- this is a person who used to run a whole YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. But now they come on TV and they're not delivering. So yeah. if stick to that freedom. If that's your lane and yeah. that's what you've developed, stick Let to the, if, okay, well, there are few, one, two, three people who, who can, can, who yeah. can. Yeah. But if your niche is on online, stick to that. Stick to it. There's freedom to it. Mm-hmm. When you, s- I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but when you sell your content to a TV station, yeah. they might restrict you. They won't give you everything that you've been doing. They'll tell you, you can do this, you can do this. Yeah. You can do this, you can do this. Yeah. If you do this, then you have to do it at this time. Yeah. If yeah. you don't do this at this time, then you have to change. Oh, we have to twist this a little to There's fit. So much, Yanni, that really. Yeah. It, it's very hard to transition. It's going to take everything that actually makes you stand out online. Yeah. And now people are like thinking like, hey, okay, so now this person, what we are watching, what's what's wrong with them? Whatever I'm seeing on TV <laughs> is not what I used to consume yeah. by like YouTube. Uh-huh. So if you're on, you're on the online platforms uh-huh. and it's working for you, just stick to that. Just stick to that. Mm-hmm. But if you believe in yourself, <laughs> you can transition. You can. T- t- yes, uh-huh. but j- don't do it because you see others doing it. Mm. There's, 
again there's an art to it it's tricky it's not as easy even mm-hmm. radio even radio you can imagine yapping for like 2 3 hours and people need to <laughs> And <laughs> to please, listen to you talking. Yeah, you have to have people glued listening to you mm-hmm. and you have to be captivating enough. So it's, it's it's not easy. Interesting. So now, just speaking of that as well, uh, are you guys always concerned with your online viewership as compared to other people? Because you'd see like maybe hey, a YouTuber, if they post their video, the video is getting like, I don't know how people get like 60,000 views like on YouTube you can I know I know <laughs> but I'm, I'm just thinking like I don't know how yet how people do that one thing I'll give, yeah uh-huh. one thing I'll give credit to where I am right now is yeah. we in we've invested quite a lot on our digital platform mm-hmm. because actually most of what we give our viewers yeah. people get to know them from online from online yeah. so that now you can transition and see it on TV yeah so I think you just have to keep on pushing and pushing and have that consistency. Yeah. If you post at this time, keep maintain. Maintain. If yeah. you say uh, every day, uh, kiss the bandit live mm. airs at six. Yeah. When it airs at six, and you upload it at seven, be yeah. consistent. Because it has to be like the that. person who missed that live is waiting for that seven yeah they so keep that refresh refresh, yeah, refresh yeah. until they see it mm. but if you're not consistent you lose your audience yeah well, that's true and it's yeah. it's kind of tricky but yeah you have to admit that also social media as much as it's not what tv stations are me but they have to focus on that because that's how they also and also you have to keep it vibrant you have to how vibrant enough hmm? relate with these there are two brands yeah. Three, actually. Yeah. If you go through their Twitter and Facebook, mm-hmm. my God, even if you're not a member of that, whatever, you are interested because yeah. of the... Th- it's not even of whatever they're trying to push, but that's the conversation. I don't want to name drop, but I yeah. know you know what I'm saying. No, I know, I know. I yeah. know, I know what you're you saying. You see, the way the admins yeah. re- like, uh, relates with the people who are mm. on, on that platform. Yeah. So, if you have such a platform try to keep it as vibrant as possible once in a while throw in a meme yeah yeah, yeah 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 it's never true, that serious true, true. throw in a meme let uh-huh. people laugh uh-huh. take a snippet of a face someone did <laughs> tengeneza or something will ask people what would you put on this face have fun with it basically. yes have fun with it uh-huh. and that's it that's how you're going to let people use another thing that has really help people mm-hmm. is when you allow people to take those are too small small videos and then they make you see those their f- own versions yes, to, to and they twist it that to music or you, something yeah, you might think they are stealing your content but when you look at it from a different angle they are actually pushing your content it's free advertising for you <laughs> exactly now free. imagine for example yeah. i made a face here yeah someone takes that a video and don't worry, we'll experiment with that since you've given me that idea. Uh. We'll, experiment. <laughs> we'll actually put it to a test and take something no, that's from this fair. video and you actually do, do it. Do not use my ideas on me. <laughs> okay, now, just as a, as a producer, TV producer, and having watched like a bit of my show and stuff, what, uh, if I asked you for five quick tips that you can give me to just maintain what I'm doing or elevate it to the next level online not on tv what are the five tips that you can give me as a tv producer hey, wait, yeah, wait. See, i told you your people your, your people who are important <laughs> in this industry eh? okay. first first things first yeah consistency yeah. that that is very important yeah if i'm used to getting your podcast at uh, at seven yeah on friday mm. Do that. Do that. Uh-huh. Do that over and over and over. Another yeah. thing, enjoy what you do. If you enjoy what you do, you'll always be have that psych. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even if the person you're having isn't that much yeah. good energy, like yeah. I love what I'm doing. Yeah. No matter the situation, I'm going to do this. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what else? That's two. <laughs> That's two. Number three. <laughs> Number three. Mm-hmm. Know your guests prior. Yeah. And I always tell this. I always even tell people who are hosts, not even on TV, even mm. if you're doing your vlogs, something like this. Mm. 
do research about the person you're having. Yeah. It will be very interesting if I came, I asked you some I asked you a question and you're like, "Wow." Uh-huh. This person actually did sit down and did Listen, research. I'm I'm actually going there. Somebody told me about a relationship that you had mm-hmm. and that's where we're going after the the tips, after the four tips that you need. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's the face we are going to take. <laughs> And use on them. Why do you keep falling for this? Why do you keep falling for this? Because I'm always making faces. Unfortunately, fortunately or unfortunately, yeah. I'm always making these weird faces. So okay, so research, about, research on your yeah, research on, on your guests, guests people yeah. you are having. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing, know where you want to go. Yeah. Know, know which direction you want Projection to go. Projection of you. Yes. Do, do you want to go east? Do you want to go west? Do you yeah. want to go north? Have a, it's like have a game plan. Yeah. So after I've done this and this, for example, of course you can't exhaust everyone. Yeah. yeah. But in an instance like that, mm. what would you do? Do mm. you have something that? What next? Yeah. Mm. If still you'll be running this, but do you yeah. have something at the back of your mind that you say, if today I decided I'm not going to have someone with me, yeah. I'll do something and people will still appreciate. Mm. Always have. It's more of like a plan B. Yeah, still on that show, what else can I incorporate it to make it? Mm, well, now, that one... But no, I'm not asking <laughs> in particular. No, I'm just saying... <laughs> I, no, I was actually... I wasn't asking. I was saying what you're telling me is like, just figure out something else that can. Yeah. Also still spice it up. In case, like the way you're saying, I miss a guest, can I still be able to do something with a show that will still... Yeah, and people will be excited, like, wow. Yeah, okay, we, this, we, we didn't expect this. Mm, yeah. But let's roll, <laughs> let's yeah. do this. Mm-hmm. And number five, yeah. just be easy and generate good vibes. <laughs> hey, okay. Be okay. easy and generate good vibes. As mm-hmm. long as you have that, you're channeling good vibes, yeah. you'll always achieve what you want. Now mm-hmm. imagine if I came here and they have, like, <laughs> yeah. hmm? <laughs> mm. That's what I would never <laughs> want to experience like, like on a podcast. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> no, I'm supposed to be some. <laughs> I have a meeting. No. Or people come here and you're people the that We had people who like, they, they, they want to make you feel like they're actually doing you a favor. Eh? Yeah. Listen, not I'm, once, I'm doing you a favor. Not twice. Yeah. They're like, you know what? You need me more than I need you. So yeah. And they yeah. come and they want to, do, to run things their way. Their way. Which they want to produce the show. Mm. So wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, that's mm. that's just what I'll say. So, I appreciate that. So, now, as we're winding up the podcast, quick question. Why <laughs> <laughs> are you freezing? <laughs> relax, relax. Uh, just like your parents, are you close to your mom, dad, or all, both of them? Mm, okay, well, my dad passed on. Like, this seventh this month is when we celebrated like five years. Oh. Five years anniversary. And mm-hmm. my, I think we're close with my mom. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah, we we're close because all along she has always supported everything I do. Mm-hmm. Like you f- today, you want to skip rope for life. Yeah, it's okay. I got you. <laughs> skip all <laughs> do you it, want. Do it. <laughs> skip all you want. Tomorrow yeah. wake up. Nah, you want to be stretching for do a it. living. Do it. Stretch your way out, my guy. Yeah. Do it. But one thing she always tells me is, mm. whatever you do. Don't do it because you have to. Yeah. Don't do it to please someone. Do it because you want to you do it. You want to do it. Do it because it's coming from your heart. Because mm. if you do something from your heart, even if you're not gaining anything from it, you'll sleep a satisfied person. Yeah. And you know, right now, mental health. You see people going crazy. Content creators, musician, oh, nini, suicide depressed. rate, all those things. Depression and all those things. It's just because people are doing so many things for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you do something and you you're not into it, mm-hmm. trust me, you're going to get exhausted. Yeah, but how does she <laughs> feel about now you knowing that you actually produce this show, the one in control of? She's excited. <laughs> she is right. Yeah, she's excited. Sometimes uh-huh. she gets emotional, like oh look at my <laughs> oh. yeah. And then now it's recently when it's all that yeah. you know I'm the youngest in the squad. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Yeah. Yes, like I'm the youngest, but they have to listen to me yeah. because if they don't, yeah, we are not doing this. You might actually mm-hmm. be the youngest TV producer in Kenya. Really? Is there a younger one? I don't know. I don't think so. These stations are filled with old people, yeah. old dinosaurs. Let me tell you, that's, old that's true. Dinosaurs. So they hey. say we want fresh ideas. Hey. Fresh ideas from <laughs> someone who is at the age of 60. They fresh don't know. from where? You can't get no fresh idea from those people. Uh, but it's true. Yep. 
and if if you've done rounds in uh, media houses, mm-hmm. I can attest it's only maybe our place yeah. and another place I know that yeah. has young people. Yeah, these are All the, the places. Hey, dinosaurs. Pe- no, I haven't been to other places because it's a waste of time. I want to go there and try and talk to someone who doesn't even understand. Am I supposed? Are we humble? Listen, yes, how, we are. <laughs> how do you describe to someone? Who wants to feature you and talk to you about a podcast when they don't know what a podcast is? Yeah. See, I mean, not no offense, mm-hmm. but we shouldn't be having a conversation about this because you don't even understand what exactly. Is it TV? Is it radio? Is it? Nini uh, exactly unafanya niitoa? Ati. Podcast. Nini yo? Sasa ni radio. Wapi? So easy. No, no offense, but you still can't have. You can't share ideas to this person that will make them interested in what you're doing or even leave alone that just make them understand exactly even what you're doing so there's no progression of anything that you can do with them mm. now with that being said um are you in a relationship that i have to ask nope no yeah you're married to your work right now are you or you those people are like let me focus on my goals kwanza ah uh, no i'm not that kind of person i'm just not in one it didn't work out when was the last time you were in one? I'm just asking. <laughs> like maybe like two years ago. Or two years. <laughs> Do you go on dates or any? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did, did you not see that study <laughs> where it said Kenyan ladies are known for going? They we always go for dates for the food. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Because I wanted to say, the way you've just said, ah, yeah. I was like, Do you go for the food? That would have been the next question. Uh, well, <coughs> <coughs> but what do you think of just because we're just winding up the podcast, but it's just little questions that I normally ask because all these things come to play and even affect how like you work, how you're going to produce like Jobo, if you're going to be much happier, would you rather date somebody who's in the industry or somebody who's in a completely different way? You want to talk about memory cards, cameras? <laughs> and Nini, when you're on dates, oh, do you want like a fresh mind <laughs> when you go on a date and just talk about completely different things? I wouldn't want to date anyone who in the same industry <laughs> at all. <laughs> why? No. Why? I'm asking you why. Where is the fun? Hey, you'll talk about camera <laughs> and what? camera angles. And Cam- I do that at work and then I come and discuss that with you. Come yeah, on, no. Yeah, yeah. Afana, yeah. No, I I wouldn't and I wouldn't wish to, I wouldn't want to. Mm. Plus our industry is has a lot of drama. If <laughs> from all the previous whatever you've seen. Mm. And I'm I'm one person who believes in a lot of privacy. Yeah. Privacy. Yeah. Privacy. Yeah. I'm always wondering those people are caught pants down. Hey. See do there's like a scandal. How do you even because the only problem now is like you're not the only one, especially now it will be Sharon, the TV producer of mm. Ibru. Yeah. You see, so, uh, they won't call it Sharon mm-hmm. anymore. They have they to have put, to a put tag that tag. Apocando. Of the company and all the people to you associated insist, with. To insist, yeah. Nani's daughter. Yes, <laughs> also now your no. mom has to deal with all these yeah. other things. And <laughs> I, I always say if I wouldn't, if. I wasn't in the limelight yeah and i had someone in the limelight i wouldn't yeah. want them to put me in the limelight Mm-mm. same case it's just safe i'm i'm out here yeah not as much because yeah people only get to hear my name or yeah maybe see or meet you when they're doing the actually yeah. <laughs> yeah. show or, as well or see the, <laughs> the yeah. oh name. yeah 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 mm-hmm. I, I i wouldn't want that yeah at all uh, plus i'm not a pda person mm. yeah so if don't do romantic walks nini public display of affection mm. nah. somebody brings you flowers they make out with you like at the reception area i am mini. i'm the netflix and chill kama si indoors taki maneno kama mtani mapenzi ni ya bedroom no that's actually not not a bad idea i mean you know there are some people here who just get too anxious here going out and you can imagine if you're dating somebody who's always pushing you to like let's go make this appearance let's go no, do this I don't let's want go that. <laughs> that's too much pressure <laughs> when they're taking a picture you are there already you know let me tell yeah. you 
you can just me i'm not yeah. a makeup person so uh-huh. let's start from there so which is I, a good thing which is a good thing now imagine i have someone who's pressuring me let's go make an appearance no i have this yeah. pressure of i have to look good so that the blogs don't say this yeah, no mm-hmm. but you actually have very good skin by the way yeah thank yeah. you mama for the jeans yeah, you have very good skin cuz I, i mean now that you mentioned that now it's when i've made i've noticed oh actually she doesn't she hasn't put any no And you know the funny thing is like you can see the makeup craze right now in Nairobi. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather get go like home with, if you're going home with someone and wake up with the same person that you actually met? They real me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't like surprises there are some people who master this. Eh? Well, I I know. I've yeah. seen people yeah, with Yeah, even you being any being a producer with and without yeah. two different. You know I I've ever passed someone who have hosted. Yeah. Na sia tsiko na wajua. I just did not recognize them mm. because they have makeup on and they yeah. they're like, "Hi." Yeah, like, "Hi." Kwa nini unanipita? We met before. No, kwa nini unani Of course they know me. Kwa nini unanipita? I'm like, "Ah, hi." Um Oh, sasa po, okay, I'm sorry. My mind was funny, nini. But deep down like when you say that you still don't remember maybe. Yeah, I'm like, "Well, she looks familiar." <laughs> No, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, interesting. I just wanted at least to touch on that and everything. So the last question that I normally ask everyone Hi-ya. on my podcast. They're not yet done. <laughs> yeah, not yet done. Not yet. But this is the last question. Okay. What's the one thing that you think right now you're chasing or you're trying to pursue and if you got it, it will give like your life better direction, meaning and um, maybe sense of happiness. What's that one thing that you think you're chasing? Hmm. Maybe it's a big apartment. Maybe it's a car. Maybe it, maybe it's one boyfriend or two boyfriends the weekend and girls do have two them. Boyfriends. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> one for food, one for rent. I mean, one and maybe another one for, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Be seen within public. <laughs> 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 What's uh, the one thing you think it? I feel like I was so much to my parents. Mm. Even in essential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I owe so much to them. Yeah. And It's my wish before I get married. Yeah. I build my mama house. I always want to do that as well. It's like when yeah. you see the way you know Asti Kuyo's how we extra yeah. with our weddings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, when they're doing that I want them yeah. to do it in a house yeah. where I said this is a gift I give to my mom. Yeah. If I could do that between now and in December, it be the happiest person alive, I'm sure. Amen. <laughs> From your mouth to God's ears. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll I'll be so satisfied like uh-huh. I'd be like If my mom is living well yeah. then me me ata nikishi kwa ben sita I don't you're mind. good you're good and even for me I'm always asking people this question and for me like the only thing that I'm always thinking of as much as like you know like I hear like just women never want to hear like guys say like you made want to do this for my mom no. the only person that I really do care about a lot is actually like my mom like if there's anything I would do and just you know excite her to that point mm-hmm. where she's just crying That's w- that's all I need to to see. Exactly. That's all I need to see. So if if I achieve that even <laughs> by the end of this year. Yeah. You're good. You're Give good. It's a wrap. Yeah. You can now start focusing on other things. Well. And still ma- maintain her smile, Pia. You keep maintaining that smile as yeah, well. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> the one thing I will always yeah. I'm a funny I'm a funny child. Mm-hmm. That's what my mom says. I'm mm-hmm. a funny child. Okay. Let's I, just I, hear that I'm reserved. <laughs> <laughs> No you have a nice sense of humor and that's why I remember remember like even how he ended up booking this session so so random yeah it was so random but so you only host nini mm, you host big me? names yeah. those who made like, it in the no, industry I actually like if you look at my podcast you'd find so many different people that are not like mainstream mainstream are they mainstream yo don't worry I'm coming but you will tell that they're actually from different backgrounds different needs I'll definitely say like a lot of countries different countries as well. Yeah, I, the recent one. It's what, what's the voice lady? Which one? Dali so you played it on your state as well as state. Okay. Wait, <laughs> two days ago. Yeah. Oh, that's Gabby. A fitness instructor. Yes. Yeah, she is also her episode is also insane. I wish I was like, mm, I'm next." Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so, so so I think we've come to the end of the podcast. <laughs> tell people where they can find you and if there's anything else you have going on let them know uh 
Or you don't want people to find you? You want people to find you? Do they want to find you? They will want to find you after they see this. Really? Yes. I don't find myself interesting. Anyway, <laughs> moving on swiftly. Uh-huh. Uh, on Instagram, it's at Sherry U2. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Twitter, it's Jerry U2 One. Uh-huh. Facebook, Sherry U2. I'll, I'll put the tags down below. <laughs> I'll put the tags down below, so yeah. don't worry. Uh, Is there anything you want people to check out, maybe online that you're in charge of or you represent? Oh, if oh, you want to. My, my shows. Yeah. Oh, Do you oh, want to? I don't know. Should I? If you want to, yeah. Just plug the shows that you produce. Don't oh, you? I produce Let's Talk. Uh-huh. That's Ibru TV Let's Talk. Uh-huh. Uh, hot Plate. That's I with uh, Claire, right? Yeah. Love Claire. Mm. Claire is her ball of energy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. She, she she has all the energy. She was actually the perfect one of the perfect examples of people who moved from YouTube to TV. I and mean, they were good. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the edge. And the edge as yeah. well. Yeah. So be on the lookout for that on Ibru TV. She's the show producer. Uh, uh, finally they've seen the face. Yeah. You know, I, I can it's about time. I can read all you see. Yeah. Oh Sharon, our producer always like screaming. Uh, and she's no, she doesn't know what we are going through. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Sharon, I am she. <laughs> she is me. <laughs> so sorry, guys. So YouTube, Instagram, Spotify, iTunes, all those platforms. The Kiss Capades podcast. Post every single day snippets, and every Saturday or Sunday you get a full episode and a playlist of all the other full episodes. Please share, subscribe. It's the Kiss Capades podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.